Hi, this is Clyde Boom and welcome to iLearn Linux video tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to describe Linux installation versions and installing Linux. Some Linux versions, also known as distributions or distros for short, are available as installation versions and some are available as live versions and some are available as both. Keep in mind that you can get Linux on CD or DVD. You can order it and have it delivered to you, or you can download Linux and burn it to CD or DVD yourself. An installation version of Linux may be on just one CD, or it may require more than one CD. However, a live CD version of Linux consists of just a single CD. You use an installation version of Linux to install Linux on a system. This could be a system that doesn't have an operating system on it, or it could be one that does have an operating system on it, such as the Windows operating system. When you install Linux on a system, you do several steps to put the Linux operating system program files on the hard disk in a system permanently, although you can remove Linux later if you need to. Installing Linux can be a fairly time-consuming process, depending on the version of Linux you're installing and also depending on the number of programs you're installing with the Linux OS. To start installing Linux from CD, you need to boot your system from a Linux installation CD and then start the Linux installation routine. The Linux installation routine presents you with several screens, and on these screens you provide the system with several system settings, such as the hard disk partition settings, the networking settings, and the names of the programs you need to have installed. After you've specified all these settings, the Linux OS, desktop, and program files are copied from the CD onto your hard disk. And there may be more than one Linux CD that'll be installed on the hard disk. The Linux programs that are installed include utility software programs like a calculator or dictionary, application software programs like word processor, spreadsheet, and graphics programs, and also internet programs like an email program and a web browser so you can search the internet and see websites. You can also install lots of different types of Linux servers, such as a web server and a Windows compatible file server. After installing Linux, you boot your system from its hard disk and Linux runs and displays a desktop that you've installed. At this point, you can run Linux programs from the desktop, like a word processor, spreadsheet, or email program. And you can also do the steps to set the system up as a Linux server, such as a web server. The full iLearn Linux video tutorials are over 12 hours, and they show you every step in learning Linux. They show you the steps to download Linux, create a Linux CD, boot from CD, how to install several versions of Linux, and how to run live versions of Linux. They also show you the steps to work at a desktop and how to run Linux programs. In addition to this, they show you how to run all the most important Linux administration commands. They show you what each command is used for, when to run it, and what the output of the command means. This is Clyde Boom showing you these sample I Learn Linux video tutorials. To get lots more information on Linux, come on over to ilearnlinux.com. See you there!